Hi guys, I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, I don't want to eat meat anymore. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just going to be showing you this amazing meal kit that we've got. Um, so this is from Vegan House Foods and they're on Instagram um, and I shall leave all the details below. We first discovered them at Chester Vegan Market. Um, the children had had a hot dog and we had kebabs and they were amazing. So I'll just show you what we've got. We've got a mixture box, but you can get kebab box, you can get a um, chicken box or hot dogs. Um, but yeah, let's just show you what we've got. So in here is, so if you're local to them, I think they deliver, they have certain days where they deliver. Um, so this is the breaded, sorry, coated chick fillets. They look amazing, smell amazing. We've got a lettuce. And then all your bits in here. So you've got some ketchup, two lots of ketchup, some mustard, um, this chopped gherkin, some tomatoes, and I think these are the little onion pieces that you sprinkle on your hot dogs. This is what you do your kebabs in. So it's five large white bread wraps, and they're really, really nice. And then we've got this huge bag of the kebab meat stuff. So it's Satan. That's a really large bag you get there. And we've literally been craving this ever since we had it because it's so delicious. We got some hot dog buns and some jumbo hot dogs. They were really nice as well. This is all frozen. Um, some chopped or shredded red cabbage, which looks amazing. And I'm really excited because I think this is the garlic mayo, which was literally so tasty. So I'm going to put some of this away and we're going to cook some of it up and show you. Um, I'll leave the links to um, our Instagram if you want to go over, if you're not already following. And then you can check out the things we make with these bits. And definitely go and check out Vegan House Foods. So I'm just frying up the um, hot dogs. Um, take about eight minutes in a tiny bit of oil in the frying pan. It's smelling good. And then I've just got my little condiments ready to pop on. So there is the hot dog in the bun. Looks absolutely delicious. And we're just gonna tuck in. Hi guys, so as you can see, the hot dogs we made were absolutely delicious. Today I'm gonna try to recreate the kebab that we had from Vegan House Foods at the Chester Vegan Market. So I've got my donna meat. I'll spin you around and show you all the other bits and then we shall get cooking. Right, so you get all the instructions how to um, put your, your donna kebab together. Um, and yeah, so I've just chopped up some lettuce, some tomatoes and some onion. And I've just put some salt and pepper and some of this garlic granules on there. So that's all my veg ready. Um, that's my red cabbage and this garlic mayo is amazing. So I'm just going to fry um, the onions and bits up with some of this olive oil. So let's get cracking. Right guys, so I've just put um, two wraps on the plates and it says to spread the garlic mayo all over the wraps. This is, um, I don't know how they make this, but the taste is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to put a generous amount on. It said make sure the whole wrap's covered. I think this um, this mayo stuff was the thing that made the wraps, honestly. They were so delicious. So I'm just gonna make two wraps and we're just gonna have, um, I'm gonna put quite a lot of filling in. So we're just gonna have half a wrap each. And then if we want any more, I can always make some. And these wraps are not like the normal ones you get. They're a bit, um, a bit thicker, they're quite lightweight and they're like, um, bit cross between a wrap and a naan bread. So, I'm just gonna spread all that over. We just finished the homeschooling, um, started at half nine, and we done it and we finished at about half one. So they worked really hard today, the kids. Right, so I think I've done that okay. So then I'm going to fry all my bits up and then I am ready to... 
Right, so I've got Florence, my little helper here. We've done lots of homeschooling this morning, haven't we? Worked yeah. really, really hard, they have. Um, we've done our exercise, yeah. haven't we? We've done a little exercise video. Might take honey out a bit later. Yeah, we're going to have a nice wrap, and as Florence said, we're going to take honey out later, yep. aren't we? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we're just frying off these onions, so they go nice and soft and browned. And then we shall add the donna meat. Did you try this before when we had it at the um No. No. I had a You had the uh hot dog. Yeah. And we had hot dogs, we made our own obviously with this kit, as you would have seen at the beginning of the video. And they were delicious. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to this. So we'll catch up with you when we're ready to put the uh donna meat in. Right, so this is the donna meat, which is Satan. Um and yeah, it just looks amazing show you really nice so it says it should cook for five to eight minutes um, and it says if your pan isn't big enough then cook it in stages just to make sure it's all thoroughly cooked through so I think the onions are getting there aren't they Florence yep, yep nearly there right so the onions are ready and Florence is just going to help me by popping some in just take a bunch of it down and then spread it out that's it put some more in we've not got the biggest pan but i think it'll fit quite a bit of it in i have to make one and then the other oh no i think it'll be all right keep going that's it and just use your spoon to evenly spread it around that's it mix it all in with the onions reckon yeah I think that'll be enough for two wraps anyway we'll just turn the heat down slightly what does it smell like smell good yeah yeah it smells really nice mm. oh, nice when you could smell this it smells delicious Right, so we'll catch up with you in a moment. Right, it's looking good. I just wanted to show you how it's um, sort of crisping up. It smells so nice. That's it, you keep mixing it around so it sits on, the, make sure it's all got a place on the bottom of the pan. Right, so obviously the wraps are ready with the mayo on and it's best to just um, line them up so you can do two or three at a time. So I'm just going to layer this veg on. So I think I'll start with the slaw, so like shredded cabbage. How's it getting on there, Florence? Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Put some on this one. You tell me when you think it's done, honey. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to pop some lettuce on. I think it might be nearly done. Yeah. Do you want to turn it down a bit, darling? Yeah. Good girl. I'm just going to put a bit of lettuce on. And some lovely tomatoes. I've obviously got the salt and pepper and a bit of garlic on. How nice does that look already? You could just eat that on its own, couldn't you, Florence? Yeah. <laughs> tomatoes. They look nice. Yeah. Very hungry now. Do you think the boys are hungry? Yeah. Yeah? Right. So as you can see, it's looking good. Right, so I've just done one, as you can see. And I'm just going to do the other one. Oh my goodness. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads. Right, 
I'm just going to spin you around and show you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the sides in and roll it up so you've got like a closed wrap. Like so. Right, so I've rolled it up. I'm just going to cut it in half. And just show you what it looks like inside. Absolutely delicious. Turn that round. Yummy. So we're going to get stuck in, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check the links out below to Vegan House Foods. And I'm sure we shall be showing you some more of their amazing food take care guys don't forget to subscribe bye